Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and I have a question for you. How prepared are you for the unexpected? I'm talking about those surprising events or developments that can throw you a curve and completely knock your life sideways and derail your progress toward the goals you've set for yourself. And today I'd like to share some tips on how to develop a flexible, agile mindset that will allow you to embrace the unexpected and respond to unforeseen situations with the equanimity you need to create the results you want, no matter what happens in your life or in the world around you. Now, I'm sure you've discovered over the last few years, if not before, that the reality is your life can change in an instant. One minute you're working in a job that you enjoy, that you understand very well, that you feel completely secure in. And the next minute, changes in the industry or in the economy have resulted in you being laid off and suddenly finding yourself faced with the possibility of having to start all over again in a different position. As I'm recording this, Twitter has laid off thousands of workers. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, has just announced they're laying off 12,000 workers. Microsoft, 10,000 people. Amazon, 10,000. Hewlett Packard, 6,000. Morgan Stanley, 1,600. DoorDash, 1,200. Coinbase, 950. BlackRock, 500, as well as Cisco Systems, Carvana, and many, many others. Or one minute you're eagerly looking forward to the freedom of retirement, and the next you're suddenly the prime caregiver for an aging parent who is dealing with a serious ongoing health situation and needs your help on a daily basis. Or maybe you're the one who's dealing with an ongoing health situation. Or maybe you're in a loving relationship with someone you thought was your forever person, and the next moment you find yourself single again, a place you never thought you'd be in. Now my point is this, you never know when unexpected change is going to slam into your life. Developments in technology, the economy, the society, and your health, like the pandemic, which no one saw coming, in your relationships, and in your living conditions, like those caused by the recent hurricanes in Florida and the rains and floods and rock slides, as well as the earthquakes and decimated communities in California where I live. All of these can come out of nowhere and have a huge and unforeseen impact on you. But just because they can totally transform your life as you know it, that doesn't mean you have to be afraid of them. In fact, the winds of change can ultimately end up steering your life to beautiful destinations you never even dreamed of. So how do you prepare yourself to respond to unexpected change with calm acceptance, hopeful optimism, and a resilience you need to make the most of any situation? Okay, my first piece of advice for you is to activate your imagination. Take the time to think about the various scenarios that could happen and how you would deal with them if they did. Have a pre-planned backup plan for whatever might happen. As the Boy Scouts like to say, be prepared. Take some time to actively visualize yourself experiencing the unimaginable. And the more vivid and detail-rich your visualization is, the more powerful that this exercise will be for you. For example, imagine that a development or event in your industry has just made your job obsolete. I'm not talking about your position with a particular company, I'm talking about your entire profession made relatively meaningless overnight. For example, I've been talking to a number of writers and visual artists who recently have been forced to consider this exact reality with the recent explosion of stories about AI software like ChatGPT and Dolly that can instantly create amazing visual art and potentially do all of your writing for you. What would you do if you found yourself in this situation? Now take the time to imagine yourself experiencing something similar by closing your eyes and imagining where you are when you hear the news that some event or some development has rendered your job obsolete. How do you discover this information? Who is sharing it with you? So take the time to visualize what that scene actually looks like. What time of day is it? And what physical sensations do you experience as it happens? And then ask yourself, how could I respond to this situation in a way it would put me in an even better situation than I was in before. For example, I was chatting with the writer the other day who was actually excited about the recent developments in AI writing software. Rather than feeling threatened by them and being worried she was going to be replaced by robots, she was already brainstorming possibilities and exploring ways she could use these tools to improve the services she offers to her clients and make even more money than she does now. So imagine the possibilities that might arise from a situation in which your job is threatened with obsolescence. What are some different ways you could respond in this situation? Focus on the ones that are most likely to deliver a positive outcome. And mentally work your way through them and explore what you might have to do 
to make them a reality. Maybe even do some research to discover the skills or knowledge you would need to develop between now and then to bring that vision to life. Now, the more you're able to imagine the absolute worst happening and how you could respond in a way that allows you to navigate the fallout with maximum ease and minimal stress to achieve an optimal outcome, the easier it will be for you to do just that. When you imagine yourself encountering and overcoming obstacles, you greatly increase your chances of overcoming those obstacles should they ever appear on your path. One of my staff was recently telling me about a book she's currently reading by futurist Jane McGonigal. It's called Imaginable. How to see the future coming and feel ready for anything, even things that seem impossible today. It goes deeper into this topic and sounds like a very interesting read for sure. And if you feel at all anxious or unprepared for possible future developments, I encourage you to check it out. Now, maybe the very idea of the future causes you to feel so much anxiety you would rather ignore it altogether. There's so much news about climate change and biodiversity loss, warfare, the racial and political divides, and human tragedies like mass murders happening all around the world. I would never blame anyone for feeling overwhelmed by it all, or wanting to think about other things to protect their mental health. But that said, however, no one ever solved a problem by ignoring it. So if you struggle with feelings of profound anxiety for the future, you may want to do some positive mindset work to help you with that. Mindful breath work, which I've talked about in past videos, is a great way to reduce feelings of anxiety. Compassion and gratitude meditations can also help you cultivate more trust in yourself and others, which is essential for believing a better future is possible. And tools like EFT tapping can help you release the negative thoughts that make it hard for you to develop the confidence and the optimism you need to move forward into the unknown. So if you don't have a regular mindset practice, now would be a good time to start one. Now another thing you can do is to work on developing a flexible, agile body. Seriously, the state of your body affects the state of your mind and vice versa. When your body is tight and full of aches and pains and your muscles are tense with stress, you're gonna find it much harder to cultivate a calm and flexible mindset. That's why I found yoga, Pilates, and Qigong exercises to be so beneficial in my own life. Not only do they give me a stronger, more flexible body that allows me to be more physically active and sleep better at night, they also put my mind at ease and quiet the monkey chatter in my brain that can make it hard for me to think calmly and clearly about things. I always find that I'm better equipped to deal with anything that happens in my life when I'm doing yoga and Pilates or practicing Qigong regularly. You may find the same, or you may find that a more active movement practice such as Tai Chi or even daily walks work well to help you de-stress and find more freedom and flexibility in your body and in your mind. So those are my tips on how to cultivate an agile and flexible mindset that will better prepare you to deal with any potential unexpected surprises or disruptions. As one of my students recently said on my Facebook page, expect the unexpected and you'll never be surprised. So the more prepared you are to face those future challenges, the better equipped you'll be to deal with them. Now, if you find this video helpful, please take a moment to like it, share it with someone who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional tools and resources on how to cultivate a positive, future-focused mindset, make sure to visit jackcanfield.com. And also check out the links in the description below. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.